Today we have another awesome literacy craft for you and your kids, fishing for ABCs. We're going to use some recyclables and some paint and some construction paper to make this really cool colorful game. It's an inexpensive and fun way to connect with your kids and learn a little along the way or maybe even a lot. So let's get crafting. Okay guys, so let's do some fishing. You have the letter K. I got two. Let's see. Yay. I mean, what do you, what do you got going on? Second. So for this project, you're gonna need the following supplies. Paper clips, cleaned ice cream carton, tissue box, or something similar. Wooden dowel, drinking straw, small magnet, construction paper, paint brushes, acrylic paint in various colors, including white for priming. The first thing we're gonna to do today is create our fishing bowl. And to do that, we're gonna take our empty ice cream carton, which we had a lot of fun emptying, and we are going to take that and turn it into this by cutting a hole in the top and then priming it. The reason we prime it is because it's going to hide all the print here, create a smooth surface, it's going to hold all the color when we get to this part. And this is a lot of fun too. Now either you or your kids can paint this any way you want so you have a fun design when you get ready to fish. I'm going to do a fish. Can you do a fish? Can you do orange fish? Yeah! The clownfish! Is that this clownfish? Or oh, this clownfish is the other funny looking ones, right? It's running purple. What color is that? Yellow. That's yellow. All right, all right. Let's see what you got. Yellow. A right. rainbow top. I'm going to spread it out. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. I want to do some stripes. Want stripes. Can you do some stripes? Yeah. There you go. Orange yeah, you see, you see how when you did it that way, you can make it thinner. You sort of control the line a little bit better. I'm doing this and then a flower in the middle. Yeah, are you going to do a yellow flower? Yeah. No. The middle's yellow. Ah, okay. The next step is creating the fishing pole. To create our fishing pole, we're going to need a wooden dowel, some string, and some sticky bag magnets. I'm going to take this string here, maybe too long, too short, depending on the size of your learner and the size of your fish bowl. Let's get this much string. You will tie that, tie a knot or two to connect that to your dowel. With that connected, now you can take the sticky backs off of the magnets, place the string on one of them, you will take back off the other one, and you'll sandwich it in between. I got you did! Head. Okay, cool! I am fishing for a worm. I got one! Away! <laughs> she! The next step is to come up with something to put in your fish bowl so that you can play the fishing game. We elected to use a fish template. Now, if you don't have a fish template, you can get construction paper and cut it out in any shape uh, that you want, as you'll see here in a second. You can take your fish and you can write whatever words you want to do. For us, um, one of our learners, her name was Isla, it's my daughter. So, we'll put that on a fish and we'll cut that out there we go so we have a fish to make this fish connect to our magnet we're going to take some paper clips or a paper clip per fish and we're going to slide it right on there and that will make the make it stick to the magnet i found think think a sick job father father yeah. Today, that's a good one. We can use today. that. <gasps> if there was an is, I could say she is done today. Okay, like I mentioned before, if you don't have access to a fish template, you do have access to construction paper. Well, one of the things you can do, particularly if you have a an earlier learner, someone who's not able to read yet, you have letters. I'm going to show you how to make those. So you can take a row here. Now you add your paper clips. A is for, whose name do you know begins with the letter A? <laughs> no, Isla! So. Under. Ooh, nice. Oh look, you're lining them up by color. See, so you put all your green yeah. ones over there, your yellow ones over here. Oh, you put the yellow ones to match your shirt, right? Yeah, and then I you, know. have, you have your blue ones in there. Mm -hmm. Nice job, man. Look, D-A-D, you know what that spells? Dad. D -A -D. Dad. I'm gonna take Dad. You gotta take dad here. These are dad. Right there. D A D. Boy. You are a boy. I am a boy. That's a good, that's a, a boy that's a good uh, observation. Yo, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Lachlan's a boy, too. That's right. Yeah, no, that's no, right. Please. And we, uh, we need some verbs so we can make some sentences. See if you can get some verbs out of there. 
There you go. Get some action words going. Let's see. L. I made it really long. E. I made it really long. <laughs> it's really long. So some of the skills we practiced today were letter recognition. What's my name? L. L for Lennon. That's right. Yeah, hey, girl. Name. There you go. Sight word recognition, as well as motor skill stuff, and we even got some uh, color recognition stuff going on in there too. Yeah, that's right. Hey, girl, good job. The kids' reactions while doing this activity are always uh, a, a joy to see, and it's always really cool to see the lights go on. <gasps> Wait, look, lights color. They had fun pulling out the words, pulling out the letters, and putting them together, pushing them around, and we didn't really have to prompt them very much to do the fishing. You can do most of these things with things we have lying around the house, and for this one, Cleaning out the ice cream carton was no problem at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good, Good job, job. Baby. Good, Good job, job, baby girl. Get your supplies together, get your kids together, and go fishing. <laughs>